Hello everybody, Mr. Akins here and welcome to What's on the Comic Rack. There is a comic book tag challenge going around and this time it's about showing off your comic book room. I got tagged by Eric at SideQuest Comics to show off my comic book room. Now in the past I've done one of these before where I've shown what my comic book room looks like down here where I film, but maybe this time I might do a better job of it. Maybe this time I might highlight something that I didn't highlight before. So let's get this camera turned around and let's give a panoramic view of this comic book room. So here we go, a comic book room tour. Now this is the perspective I usually have my camera in when I make my videos, I'm usually sitting on a chair there. I'm gonna pan back a little bit so we can see the entire wall. And then I'm gonna move in and talk specifics about what is on the wall. Now these plastic comic book bins, they hold about 150 comics. And on the outside, I have comic books that are taped in the bag, telling me what is in each one of those boxes. And this one, we obviously have the Black Panther and Wolverine. Below that, we've got an entire box of What If. Entire box of Silver Surfer. Entire box of West Coast Avengers. And in the bottom, looks like we've got the Infinity Gauntlet and Daredevil. Daredevil more than likely takes up that entire box there. Move over. We've got Wonder Woman and Crisis on Infinite Earths. Wonder Woman takes up probably that entire box. We've got Defenders and Dazzler. I got almost an entire run of Dazzler from a collection I picked up. Above that, She-Hulk and Marvel 2-in-1. Above that, we've got Quasar and Rom. Excalibur and Secret Wars. Excalibur probably takes up that entire box. Moving over. Doctor Strange and Hagen from Lettuce Comics' favorite character, Namor the Submariner. We've got an entire box of Hulk. This box contains newer issues of Hulk. I've got a long box I know of Hulk and probably, if I put it all together, I'd probably have at least two long boxes of Hulk comics. Below that, Marvel Team Up in the official handbook of the Marvel Universe takes up that box. Superman in Action Comics. And below that, we've got X Factor and X Force. Moving over. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider Man, and DP7. Really, it's probably an entire run of just new universe titles in that box. Right above it, we have the New Warriors and the New Mutants. The New Warriors, the run that has absolutely no keys in it at all. Got an overflow of Silver Surfer and a huge glare. Got an overflow of Avengers. Above that, Justice League and the Teen Titans. And a box of more Superman and Batman comics, trying to get that glare off. Now in the back back there, we also have this huge George Perez, Alex Ross poster of Crisis on Infinite Earths. I collected action figures for a while. These are the ones I kept, this Batman one and this Superman one right here. And in the middle, we have this awesome piece of art by Big Ben McFly, the comic guy. Got it framed and right now I've just got it sitting on top of this right here until I figure out exactly where I'm going to put this in this room. I'm gonna stop a minute and I'm gonna talk about this awesome George Perez, Alex Ross poster for a moment. So this Alex Ross, George Perez poster right here is absolutely huge and I love it. It's got a key to it. It's got over 700 DC characters in this picture. And this is why 
George Perez is a master of the crowd shot. This is absolutely beautiful. I had it laminated so that it would last longer. It's been moved around from classroom to classroom. Every classroom I ever was in, I had this poster up. And a little bit of trivia about this poster. One character that is depicted in this is Peter Parker. There's Peter Parker in this Crisis on Infinite Earths poster. Absolutely beautiful. Now over here on this side, I've got another piece of Big Me McFly, the comic guy art. I love this right here. Let's see if I can get the glare off of it. There we go. Got that nice picture of the Fantastic Four versus Superman. Got some more posters back there in the back. And of course, my rack. Now the stuff here behind me when I shoot my videos doesn't change unless I have to take some of those boxes off to get something. But this is usually what changes right here. This is where I put different comic books to look and view. When people say, hey, I need to change stuff up. I'm usually changing stuff on my spinner rack right here. And these slabs fit really great inside that spinner rack. Behind the spinner rack, we got one of my favorite posters of all time. Fantastic Four by John Byrne. It has every single character that appeared in Fantastic Four from number one to number 100 in this poster right here. Absolutely love it. So this is the wall behind me. Got another poster of Iron Man. And then beside that poster or right below that poster, one of my friends got me this right here, which is a signed Whose Side Are You On Civil War, signed by Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. And below that, a great Captain America poster by Mike Zeck. Then I've got all my Randy Bowen minibus. I'll probably show a video. I made a video where I um, did close-ups on all these. These cubbies are really good for putting one of those and then putting a comic book behind it. Down here, this is a box of comics I got from one of my friends. He has probably about six, maybe ten long boxes. He had them in his garage and every once in a while I'll go and get one of those long boxes and start rebagging it and reboarding his comic books for him. And this is the first one. Probably, I'm doing a video on those, but I want to actually do a video where I've gotten all of them rebagged and reboarded and talking about the journey of going through those comic books and seeing exactly what's in there. This is just an overflow box of stuff I may have made videos about and I put it in there. Um, I've got some other cubbies in here. Just put some stuff in there like cups. Got another cubby over here with just stuff. And I got some glasses with pens, pencils, things like that. Now, the friend that got me the signed Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans, he also got this right here. This is signed by Hugh Jackman. Got a little action figure there. Like I said, I used to collect action figures. Don't have hardly any action figures left. I've got this one, the Superman one, the Batman one, and a couple more you'll see here in a minute. Then, I've got then I have my Fantastic Four section of my minibus. I really love all these minibus. I think the only one that's not my absolute favorite, but I had to have a Silver Surfer minibus there. It's not my favorite. I like some of these other ones better. And that is that wall right there. 
And then we're gonna move to the next wall here on this wall. I'll back up so we can see everything that's over here all at once before I start talking about individual parts. I've got this section right here, which is my Iron Man section with my mini bust of Iron Man right here. And my last spot will be my Mark II Golden armor that's going to go right in that spot right there. I've got two different statues I'm thinking about putting in that spot. But once I get one of them, it's going to go right there. Here I've got some storage. This is where I keep all my role playing. I've got Top Secret, Second Edition, First Edition D&D. &D. Got some Pathfinder in there. Even have third edition sitting right there. Got more over here. Got these little glass files where I keep my dice. Got four sided, six sided, 12 sided, all in different separate things. I've also got other spots where I've got dice. I've just got so much dice. That's one of those things I can't help myself from collecting. I just keep collecting more and more dice. I've got a few miniatures. These miniatures are in egg crates. I felt like that was an easy way of storing those where I could stack them on top of each other and some more stuff that's completely and utterly disorganized up there. More story. These I have a hard time getting rid of because I think this Captain America is a very cool action figure. So is this Hulk. I did have an Iron Man but I sold it. The only other one I have is a Spider-Man one and of course more plastic containers that contain comic books. Iron Man PBC figure. And then this section where we'll have more mini busts at some point in time. Thinking I may make this an X-Men section. And then right over here is where I film all my Jambo style comics. I like shooting stuff Jambo style just because of the glare. I'm even getting glare on some of these shots. I can't stand the glare. The only way I could not get glare is to take the comics out of the package and put them right here. Then I create a little backdrop. Stuff to see behind me. This is a shot of me and my wife. I guess that would be a cameo by her. Got this book that I started at Terrificon trying to recreate Avengers Annual Number 10 with some artwork by Al Milgram and Michael Golden and some spots for future artwork to go in there. So there's my Jambo style section. So what we have in the middle of the room is a table where I've got my stuff set up. This is usually where I put my ring lights, my camera facing it toward this way. And right below that table is I've got some more long boxes of comics. Now most of these long boxes have artwork on the outside telling me what is inside each one of those boxes. I've got a long box of Spider-Man. In fact, there's another long box of Spider-Man. That's actually a short box of Alpha Flight. Long box of Fantastic Four. Two long boxes of the Avengers. And then this one right here is a long box of just random titles. This is where I keep other comics. On the outside of the box, I've either decoupaged or taped artwork telling me what's in each one of these boxes. So that means I've got a long box of the Hulk. I've got two long boxes of Iron Man long box of X-Men, down there at the bottom a long box of Thor, and some of these others that have different things on the outside or just a hodgepodge of different comics. I've got two boxes there or three boxes that I haven't gone through. Here, I've got a closet here that has more long boxes that I haven't completely and utterly organized. The top two are actually two long boxes of stuff that I have on eBay, most of it dollar comics. And then in the top up here, I have two long boxes 
of Legion of Superheroes and another long box that I haven't gone through. And that, my friends, is... Hey, honey, can you come here for a moment? Yeah, hold on a second. And that, my friends, is why I'm wearing a different shirt right now. I know content creators oftentimes get interrupted, and sometimes when I get interrupted, I completely forget that I have no outro on a video. I started editing this video, and at the end, you're supposed to tag somebody. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to tag somebody. And the person I'm going to tag is Steve Driscoll. I want to see where Steve Driscoll keeps his comics. I think he has a very cool collection, and I'm kind of interested where he keeps all those books. Is there other things in that room that might be of interest to people on YouTube? So Steve, you've been called out, you've been tagged, and until next time, we'll see you around the comic rack.